Parker, how do you get your audio so good? So first we have my microphone, which is this right here. It's the Sennheiser MKH-50, which is actually used as a boom mic on like actual film sets. One of the reasons that that microphone sounds so good is because it's a small diaphragm condenser microphone that has a super cardioid polar pattern, meaning that it's really directional. So obviously it's only gonna pick up your voice and not really much else from the sides or behind. However, it does cost well over a thousand pounds. So for us mere mortals, a cheaper option might be like the Audio Technica AT4053 B, which is like a third of the price. Now what's also very, very important is sound treatment. So I actually have these sound panels from Automute placed throughout my office and they actually make a very big difference. That's because they're good sound panels and good sound treatments can actually make a cheap microphone sound much more expensive. Whereas even a good microphone can sound terrible in a poorly treated space. But if you can't treat your space properly, you're probably going to want to choose a large diaphragm dynamic microphone. I'm using this Gato Wave DX, but these type of microphones you have to get really close to, which means it's going to avoid a lot more background noise and just generally make your voice and vocals sound clearer. And then the only other thing is I don't actually really know how to EQ audio. So I literally just boost the bass and treble in Adobe Premiere when I'm editing and I feel like it sounds better. Honestly, that's not exactly the worst place to start really, because if you're subtle with it, you're going to bring out a lot of the warmth in your voice as well as some clarity. The only thing that people usually add on top of that is scooping out some of the mids to remove like boxiness in your voice, usually around 500 hertz. However, I did notice that you're using an Elgato Wave XLR dock, which means you also have access to Wavelink, and Wavelink has access to EQ presets on the marketplace, which, if you don't know, you can actually use inside Premiere Pro, so you can download presets to kind of, like, get you started, and then obviously just throw it onto your videos and use it while you're live as well.